How are we doing everyone? Delta here. Welcome back to another Division video. Today we're going to be talking about the problem with the Division Heartland. And it's not what you might think. This is a video kind of in response to the leaks that occurred last week. I say leaks because it was confirmed that it was a leak. So we're going to talk about that and uh, yeah. So last week there was a posting on the Ubisoft store and it basically confirmed the release of the Division Heartland. Not the release date, obviously, but it did come with four brand new screenshots that we have never seen before. It also came with some other information as well, but there was some things about the website that was a little suspicious. That being the typos, the, the fact that the website listed the developers as Ubisoft Montreal instead of Ubisoft Redstorm. But regardless, the community was incredibly hyped, but there was a ton of discussion and discourse afterwards regarding the images and the information that was revealed. Part of this discourse is regarding the, the fact that some people do not like how the screenshots portray the game. And I'll throw this one up on screen right here. There's a lot of people saying that this image in particular, quote unquote, feels less authentic or even not authentic. And that's a big part of the discussion, but that's not necessarily what I want to focus on in this video. The real quote unquote problem with the Division Hardland is that we don't know what the game is going to be like. So the problem here is the problem of asymmetric information. And when I say that, I mean that we as the consumer are looking at what Ubisoft and Redstorm are posting about the Division Heartland and taking it as, you know, this is what they want to say to us. or this is what they want to show. This is what the game is going to be like. When in reality, we can't actually say that because that's not, it's not public information. We thought it was, but it has been revealed that unfortunately it is not. So therefore, we as the Division fans cannot make judgments based on the four images that were posted to a website with the wrong developer listing and full of typos. The real issue is that Ubisoft, the publisher, will not allow their studio to talk about the game and the issues that have been going on and the discussion regarding the community. And I think that this is a great time for Redstorm to kind of step in and say, hey guys, like, you know, don't take this as, you know, the end all be all of what the game is going to be like, but I'll get into that more later. You have people basically writing off the game already, and there still technically hasn't been a shred of public information released about the game in more than 10 months. Part of the issue here is that by letting the community speculate for so long and then when some images are finally introduced, people are going to write off the game immediately based on what the images are. And I'll, you know what, I'll be the first to say that I kind of had a skeptical feeling when I saw a couple of those images. And that's fine, that's natural, like whatever, like it's not a big deal. Hey, people are even saying it looks like a kid's game or it's not quote unquote authentic to the Division franchise. Like that's fine and all and everyone can have their own opinion about it. And you know what, not every game is going to be everyone's cup of tea and that's fine. Just take Division 2 for example, I mean <laughs> not much else needs to be said about that if we're being completely fair. So the main point here is basically don't take these images out of context. And the context being that this is not what they wanted to show us about the Division Heartland. So I would definitely say and caution you, of course, like, you know, you have your own opinion, that's fine. But definitely wait until the information is actually publicly revealed before you make your judgments about the Division Heartland. Because as of right now, we don't have enough to go on, basically. Okay, I mean, you can say, oh, well, the Battle Royale, whatever. If that's not your cup of tea, then that's not, you know? There's still plenty of Division Universe content to interact with. So the second main issue here that I wanted to discuss is that Ubisoft is confusing the player base. And by creating confusion within the player base, you end up alienating a part of that existing fan base. Ubisoft clearly has a vested interest in maintaining a good relationship with their community and as of right now unfortunately, it's kind of hard to look favorably upon Ubisoft based on their apparent lack of commitment to the Division franchise and the Division community. It's sad to say that, but the fact that they won't allow their developers to talk to the community, especially with such a wide sentiment that the developers are not talking anymore, basically. I mean, obviously, that sentiment's been growing for a while now, but that's one of the biggest things. Like, that's, that's one of the biggest issues in the Division community right now. And maybe commitment is the wrong word. There is a growing sentiment within the community that feels that Ubisoft is at fault for the present woes that are prevalent within the Division franchise. I've talked about this kind of extensively in a previous video, but honestly, it's a little redundant to talk about it now. So I'll just link that in the corner if you haven't seen it. 
And when I say that Ubisoft is confusing the community, I mean that they allow certain images and qualities of the Division Heartland to be released and then just take it down with no further comment. And since we are the Division community and what we do is talk about leaks and information as soon as possible, this leads to a lot of discourse seeing as Ubisoft cannot seem to let their students comment on the discourse as well. A lot of people feel that the Division Heartland will be different from the rest of the Division universe. And this is similar to what I talked about earlier. And I just want to say that I'm fine with a different and like a diverse Division universe. Like that's, that's very cool to me and I don't mind that. I don't think the Division Heartland needs to be identical to the Division 1, the Division 2. Because like if it was, then why wouldn't they just call it the Division 3? Like that would just make way more sense. And to be honest, a lot of people think the Division Heartland is the Division 3. But I think Red Storm stepping in and saying this release of the Division Heartland being put on the Ubisoft store was an error, the game is still development, it's not ready, it's subject to change, yada yada yada, could do a lot of good to ease the sentiments going on around the community. Especially because that's one of the main gripes, is that the devs are so quiet. The developers stepping in and taking responsibility and talking a little bit about the game would do a lot for the people who feel that the developers have broken the trust and the communication of the player base. It would be a step in a positive direction in regards to the transparency and the quote unquote symmetrical information throughout the Division community. I didn't think the developers lack of communication was a huge issue, but I think, you know, before we had actual release dates, like Massive gave us a release date for the Division 2's new content, but then it got delayed. We've never had a release date for the Division Heartland. We did actually think it was coming out before the Division 2's new content, but that was based on that silly roadmap from a while ago. The fact that we're almost a year after the announcement of the Division Heartland announcement with still no public word, other than the fact that test are still occurring and everything we have to go off is basically a leak i think the importance of developer communication is a lot i guess i want to say more important now than it was before especially because that initial hype has died down a lot and now people are kind of seeing the cracks in the division 2 like the bugs and whatnot and everything like a lot of people are becoming more critical of the division universe as the lack of content drought goes on and on and on and on. It's been a long time since we've got Division content. New Division content, I mean. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up here. Uh, just to recap, I mean, we talked about... And I just want to say this one more time is that reserve judgment for when the game is actually revealed because this is not technically the game's reveal. Yes, I'm aware that these screenshots are definitely meant to portray the Division Heartland, but definitely wait until it's actually revealed publicly. To reserve your judgment because as of right now there's no gameplay to go off of there's no nothing so we can't really make a decision based on what we have so far then again heartland may not be your cup of tea and that's fine so i just wanted to get on here and basically say that everything's fine but i think we could use a little bit of a developer discussion regarding the division heartland and the division universe as a whole but yeah i'm gonna cut it here stop rambling um if you guys enjoyed, make sure to let me know by liking and subscribing as it really helps me out. Leave a comment down below of what you thought of the video and what you thought of the screenshots. I'm interested to hear what people have to say about it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm working on something real special. I'm on break right now. So I'm going to try and put out a longer sort of high effort video. And yeah, so Delta out guys. Peace. Have a good one.